But if I may, I'd like to begin by asking you, Mr. President, if you could discuss the state of security uh, in the Sahel since the 2015 Algiers Peace Accord. And in addition, what priority actions do you believe can be taken to improve collaboration at the local level, at the national level, regionally, and with international partners? Thank you, General. Thank you very much. Alan, you're, as you know, a coalition. Uh, no matter what its ambition is, its desires are, it is only worthwhile if all of the different elements that make up the coalition are able to contribute to the coalition or play their role. So that's why, General Allen, I feel that, uh, that my first priority as a Malian is, was, to, uh, was to improve the strength of our armed forces when I took office. And we have a country that is very large, 120 uh, uh, 120 or 1,240 uh, thousand square kilometers, and uh, it is it was impossible to uh, it's impossible to reach some areas without helicopters in in some areas of Mali. So as you can understand, my first priority was to train the Malian army. Today, uh, for the first time in about 10 years, uh, we have seen a strong. Uh, military on September 22nd, just a week ago, which was the occasion uh, to or to organize uh, a uh, to organize uh, a, a gathering where we showed the, our people what we have done and how much we have been able to accomplish in the five years of my term. Now, of course, there's still much work to be done. We have not done everything. Uh, we have 11 airplanes. Uh, in the Malian budget. And what is important for us and for the Minister of Finance is that we are trying to uh, tackle all the issues that we have had with public managing public finances. And, and thanks to our efforts to clean up public finances, we've been able to purchase these 11 uh, aircraft, uh, cargo, trans cargo planes, helicopters, and uh, when I get back to my country, uh, we, uh, we will be working on some of the areas that are still inaccessible except by air, uh, because we need to be able to access all, have access to all these areas. Now, we have also been assisted by the international community, uh, supported by the European Union through the European Union training missions that, that I'm sure you're familiar with, the UTEM missions, and also through the CAP, because there's also a security aspect in this uh, security uh, uh, initiative. So UCAP has also been working with us uh, to, uh, to help train our police officers and our gendarmerie. And this is all done within the context also of fighting against terrorism, because often the terrorists are hiding amongst the population. This is a very classic uh, problem where it's, an asymm it's no longer a, a symmetrical uh, it's an asymmetric fight along the borders, and I'm sure you're well aware of this as much as I know it as well as I do. So that was the first priority. And this, I've been very uh, happy to see the progress made by the G5 Sahel uh, with my colleagues. And we are working together. Of course, it's, it's good to say, yes, let's work together, but what is it we want to accomplish? And. Uh, as, as they said in Potsdam, uh, famously, uh, you know, Potsdam, what is it we want to accomplish? This is, uh, uh, as our uh, uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff knows well, we are focusing on how we're able to strengthen our uh, security forces. And we've not, we're doing this through an organization, organized approach to our methods. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Brookings.